Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we'll discuss about a wife who goes blind after husband's murder. Here is our MCQ. A 28-year-old woman was brought to GP by her father. He described that she had been sleeping at his home one week after her husband had been killed in a traffic accident. That morning she had suddenly gone blind and was bumping into walls without hurting herself. On examination, her pupils are visual evoked. Potentials and fields were normal. We asked about what is the most likely cause of her visual symptoms. Option A. Presbyopia. B. Age-related macular degeneration. C. Bilateral occipital lobe infarcts. D. Conversion disorder. E. Retina detachment. I hope now you are much familiar with my MCQ pattern and you have seen my MCQ series so far. So the first step is identifying our main keywords in the MCQ. I have highlighted our main keywords here. The age is a very very important factor. Please don't ignore the age in MCQ and it gives very important clues to arrive to diagnosis. And husband had been killed in a traffic accident, suddenly gone blind, bumping into walls without hurting herself, visual evoked, potentials and fields were normal. These are the important keywords in this MCQ. So these hints are actually more than enough for us to come to a diagnosis. The most crucial point in this MCQ is to exclude an organic disorder on an organic cause. We are given the blindness is sudden onset. There are many causes for sudden onset blindness. There are many organic causes. And also they say that pupils and visual fields are normal. This point hints towards and this question arises whether the cause is actually organic or not. And we'll look at the answers. Press biopia. The press biopia occurs as the lens becomes stiffer with age. And usually it occurs in people above 45 years. That's why I told you the age is a very important factor here. And in press biopia, there's a progressive decrease in the range of focusing. So press biopia is excluded. AMDO, age-related macular degeneration. It is defined as age-related changes which occur without an obvious cause in the central part of the retina in people over the age of 50 years. So this is also excluded. Bilateral occipital lobe infarcts. The most common presentation of an occipital lobe lesion is of a visual field defect. But in this MCQ, visual fields are normal and potentials are normal. So this answer is also excluded. Retinal detachment is another important answer here. And retinal detachment is a separation of the outer retinal pigment epithelium from the inner neurosensory retina. And when the force which holds the retinal attachment fails, fluid accumulates in the subretinal space, causes the separation. In young patients, trauma is an important factor that causes retinal detachment and it may cause premature posterior vitreous detachment. So the retinal detachment can occur in young people. But these patients, they usually complain of flashes of light fine, like fine dots, veils, cobwebs and clouds. And since the retina is devoid of any pain receptors, detachment of the retina is painless. But the important factor is, in retinal detachment, visual field defects are positive. So we can exclude retinal detachment also. Then the answer we are left with is conversion disorder. So we can come to diagnosis that this patient's symptoms are consistent with conversion disorder or also known as hysterical blindness. Conversion disorder is a psychiatric illness in which symptoms and signs affecting voluntary motor or sensory function and, and the signs and symptoms cannot be explained by a neurological or general medical condition. And almost always, and almost always there is association of a psychological factor, either a conflict or any stress. Keep in mind that patients diagnosed with conversion disorder, they are not acting the signs and symptoms. The patient's distress is very real and the physical symptoms the patient is experiencing cannot be controlled at will. This is Professor Sigmund Freud. He first used the phrase conversion disorder. He told that the occurrence of certain symptoms which are not explained by organic diseases reflect unconscious conflict. And the conversion refers to the substitution of a somatic symptom for a repressed idea. These are some examples for conversion symptoms. They include blindness, paralysis, dystonia, psychogenic non-epileptic seizures and anesthesia and there are much more in the list. Please take a look at those things also. And the blindness is the topper of our list. This is DSM-5 and ICD-10 criteria. But unfortunately, DSM-5 and ICD-10 use the term conversion and dissociation differently. In DSM-5, the diagnostic criteria for conversion have abandoned requirement for recent psychological stress. But in ICD-10, it classifies conversion disorder and which suggests the symptoms arise through the process of dissociation. 
and I am not going to explain this furthermore. Please read about this leisurely. Now back to our MCQ and first of all I would like to say that this woman is only 28 years old. Please please pay attention to age and gender in these MCQs and they are not just randomly put but according to epidemiology and research details. And our first answer, presbyopia is excluded, AMD and bilateral occipital lobe infarcts are also excluded, retinal detachment is also excluded. So the answer, the correct answer here is conversion disorder. And please make sure you keep in mind that they are not malingering the symptoms and signs. And in this case scenario, we can think that she has gone blind, maybe not to see the photos or memories she has made with him. So please read about conversion disorder. Here is our take home message. Conversion disorder is a psychiatric illness following a conflict or stress. Symptoms and signs affect voluntary motor and sensory function. And these symptoms and signs cannot be explained by a neurological or general medical conditions. And the most common symptoms and signs include blindness as in our case scenario, paralysis, dystonia, psychogenic non-epileptic seizures and also anesthesia. And please, please read about the conversion disorder from your DSM-5 and ICD-10 criteria and I am not going to explain this anymore. I hope you understood the MCQ and explanation well. Please make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel for more important case discussions like this. We will meet from another MCQ.